Hi guys, let's uh, continue. The article I've just put online is the one that's where we talk about Arclix D. We have in our phases of our little university phases and we have phase seven and we've just added the spices or the arch install. You'll see them both there where we have in a video of uh, just today, right? how to install Arch Linux, one thing, and then change it into Arco Linux. It's super easy. And this videos can only convince you of the fact that Arch Linux is nothing more than Arch Linux with spices, we call it spices. But think about when you are going to shop, you can buy these, these wooden cars or wooden animals, and then you sit down at home with your kids, and then you go paint the cars, go paint the houses or whatever, right? Basically, that's what you see me do in this um, episode, this video, where we start with a, or we begin with Arch Linux, and then we end up with XFCE, but doesn't look really look nice yet. And then we start with tips and spices and all that. So that's now also here in this video. And it has also the same um, mention here because it's, it's the video that important to watch that I've added, included it as well in here. Sometimes you create a must see video. This is one of them. So the text and again, the video. So why I'm here again, besides the news that we have an article, there is something I did afterwards. So this is Arch, this is Arco install. It's the same thing, except the scripts are different. We can install 27 desktops. In Arch, we can't. But what I've done, and not recorded, but should actually tell you that, since we have an Arco install, ISO, we have packages, new packages that did not exist prior to the ArcoNet Pro, ArcoNet, Arco Pro, and Arco Plasma, right? new packages because we were missing things. And one of the things we were missing is our, well, root, uh, the aliases, configs. So let's have a look. What did I do afterwards? Rip. So sudo pacman minus s, rip grep is something we need. And then we type rip function rip was 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 space oh yeah x pack that's the one it needs so you know pacman so this is not arco linux this is not arco install this is arch as seen in the video there and then we do things so we need to add things the x pack is an application it's not working hence rip won't work voila so this is the last installation for pacman rip grab before that always needed NeoFetch also, TTF hack, why TTF hack for Alacrity? Alacrity uses a nice font and without the nice font, it doesn't look nice. Simple as that. And here is one that is important for you guys. And here is one that's important. So let's go over the extras. I can use these packages again. I can use these packages on Arch Linux ISO and Arco Linux, Arco install ISO, right? Both of them are the same. The difference is the Arch install script. That's it. What we do as desktops, but the rest is the same. So when I do an update, that's the first change. When we install these packages, these three guys go at the top. In the previous video, they were at the bottom. It matters. Pacman looks at the first line. Is it available? Install it. Second line. Is it available? Install it. Right. So our packages are, are given a priority. This one first. And if then go to core and extra. Okay. So that's one of the things. Now let's have a look. Pseudo Pacman minus S. Arco install. We've named them Arco install. So this is one of them. Let's do a tap, tap. This is development, so you don't need that one. That's for us to play around to see if it works. And then the code goes to here. This is one you need. And the Arco, well, need, right? See what it brings, see what it uh, helps. A Pac-Man. 
this is our backbone that comes in. If we install these, the guys, the last one, Arco install Pacman, is going to do this. It's going to override pacman.conf and it's going to set this right. And then, voila, we normally stay away from this package for the coming months because it's going to override Pacman, but it's going to make it a backup. Let's check if that's done. Let's see if there is a backup. etc pacman.conf, right? And here we are with pacman.conf back. Pacman Arco install conf. So yes, there is for from the package that we've installed, there is something. Yeah, it opens up with that thing. Sublime text is probably not yet in there, but we can do Maxpad. Voila. So we got the backup, sure. That's dealt with. So that's the only thing Arco install Pacman will do. And this will do other things. Arco install. Now, if you want to learn about distros in general you need to know what's going in there what's what's in there you can do that here i guess it's q q something q what tap oh yeah so this is fish and fish can help you remember was its list of files owned by package that looks nice l list this happens to your machine right with this package this will be installed and it's not the same as Arcolex, so it's an, really is an Arco install thing or an Arch install. We're an Arch, remember, we're not an Arco install ISO. So we can use the uh, what was it again? Control backspace to shut down X11, go back to SDM or LightM or anything like that. So if something hangs, it can't do anything anymore. Control Alt backspace, poof, everything's killed. We're back on SDM. And here are the binaries, so applications, add microcode, Arco dev. So Arco dev, you can try out these things because it's actually an application, a run of a script, right, it runs. Voila, it's gonna install Sublime Text, yay. Platinum Searcher bin, Melt is gonna go in and voila. So now I can do all these applications. Super D is not gonna work, D menu. So many key bindings are still not working, Super X. In the meantime, is working. I have installed ArchNix logout, and so on and so on. So there is a lot of things. Um, the fixed keys, for example, is one thing that we really like because um, sometimes eh, the keys are broken. ArchNix keys, and then we need to set them back. And with this simple thing, fixed key or fixed keys, there are variations of the thing. And then you can actually run the fix Pacman databases and the keys. They all point to this guy, right? That's the guy that actually does the work. Pacman, you messed up the Pacman configuration. Articleix fix Pacman.conf, right? Lots of things in here. Removing con keys and microcode and variety or even XFCE. Um, so velo and and use and var and velo there are things in here that merit your attention and that's why we install them so we get something nice that's it for me there are two packages you can add and it gives you some more you know, leverage or or easier flow to do your thing all right cheers